Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we we'll never have to do this. Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and we are here with The Fisherman. Now, this is the first official episode after the first look where we went through the tutorial. Now, guys, I'm going to kind of play this by ear, but for the most part, I'm going to do a lot this a lot like I did with the previous one, and that is we're going to be playing this together. We're going to be learning things together. We're going to find out things together. We're going to test things together. We're just going to do this together, you know? Hey, hey, we're going to have fun. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off with Lone Star Lake, and I've got a mission set up here. It's called the Lone Star Exploration, and we're going to basically go ahead and finish this out. Looks like we've got to catch these four guys here, Golden Shiner, Blacktail, Green, and White Crappie. We've already caught all the others that are on that particular list, and once we get finished with that, I think we're going to walk around and see what we can do about finding some of the good spots now the spots here may be different than the other ver the original version of fishing planet i don't know we're gonna try it see how it works it should be sa the same or at least similar but we're gonna have some fun with this guys and we're gonna just fish <laughs> that's what i do i fish i fish and have fun and that is what matters guys having fun Anyway, let's go on in here and see what we can do about catching these guys, completing this mission. And check out a few of the old spots I used to have as well. Now, I do have a private lake here. Not because I'm antisocial, just because it gets a little confusing when there's other people trying to talk to you and you don't want to be rude. It's like, no, I don't want to talk to you, you know. <laughs> Anyway, as far as gears go, goes, blah, 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 gear goes, gears goes. Anyway, as far as gear goes, I've got this set up right here. I basically went in and took what cash I was given and basically bought the best that I could get and as much as I could get until both of my inventories were full. <laughs> so I have my elemental six foot by seven inch. Now I won that, so that was that was good. The Inspire Cast 2000, most of this gear I want. So that's the only thing I bought were some of the lures and this uh, extra line because I figured I need it. Uh, I've got the .007 mono line, which is like, oh gosh, what is it? It is three pound test. So nothing very big can we catch at this point. This is all going to be ultra light, tiny little fish. For the most part uh, i've got this one i've got my one six ounce casting spoon and on here i went ahead and put a little money forward got the bigger telefloat so it goes up to six pound test now we don't have anything but three pound test at this point and that's the best i can access but we're gonna keep the heavier line on here than the other one and i've got the Callisto XSR 1000. I believe I won that too. Uh, a slim bobber. I did buy that. And some number two hooks. I bought that. Number twos are my favorite. I love to use number twos. They're kind of a good all around hook because they can catch little fish and they can catch the bigger fish pretty readily. And I've just got to throw some red worms on here. And I've got my Creek Pro that I won with a simple bell because. Even though I can see it, I like to hear it. That means I know that I've got the fish. Um, and it's pretty much set up the way I had it set up previous with the uh, .007 line. Uh, it's got the Mini Spin 1200. Now the, early, the uh, Mini Spin 800, I went ahead and sold it. I went ahead and sold that because truth be known, I probably wouldn't be using it after that point and I need the room. That's a, a big issue with not only this game, but the uh, previous fisherman, the fishing planet, 
is space and space runs out fast so if you can get rid of things you can get extra line that's small and it's probably a good idea just to go ahead sell it off you get a little cash and you make some room for yourself all right also oh I forgot also for me I went ahead and upsized to a fish hut M which can hold 15 pounds that's and sold these smaller ones because they're not going to do me much good and that's as big as I can get right now also got a camel vest that allows me to carry more tackle more line and I of course upgraded to a triple case so that I can carry a um, spinning rod a floating rod and a bottom rod all at the same time so let's go fishing guys and tell you I usually start over here next to the dock okay I think actually I have a random room here so there might be people here that's all right there's not too many people here because the game you can't officially buy it yet this is only the 14th this is the earliest that I could actually broadcast that's why my first video didn't come out until this morning but we're going to go ahead and switch this off. We're going to do a little bit of casting to start off with. So we need the white crappie. This particular lure should do pretty good for white crappie. And they can be found anywhere along here. I'm going to put this at about two. And we're going to do a stop and go to start off with. Looks like it's a partly sunny day, so the either the gold or the silver should do all right. Oh, I thought I had a bite there. I'm going to let it sink all the way to the bottom this time. So I'd like to try to do a lift and drop, but it seems to do it too quickly. Let's try a lower one and, well, a snag, of course. <laughs> Well, at least we didn't get anything on it. And we got another snag. And we probably caught something when we got it snagged. Most likely lily pad, hornwort, water lily. Yep, discard. Lone Star Cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a gold for that. It's not a bad deal, actually. I'll take gold. Anytime you offer it, I'll take gold. Gold's a good thing. Now, if we can just keep from getting a snag, we'll be in good shape here. There we go. See, I like to lift and drop, and... It seems to work best. There we go. Grass pickerel. Now it's not one of the fish we were after, but hey, we got us a grass pickerel right off the bat. Not bad, huh? Yeah, they seem to really hover around this area a lot. Now they're all over here, honestly, but this spot is special for me right here for the grass pickerel. I've always got them there. And occasionally you'll get a crappie too, so it's another reason I'm fishing over in this spot. But to do the lift and drop, you really got to kind of do it fast. And twitching's not bad either. A lot of times that's because of the weight of the, the lure. See, he just, just about got on there, and then he jumped off. Oh, wow, there's a fish. <laughs> Poked his little head up. 
It's like, here I am. Nee, nee, nee. You can't catch me. There we go. That's how it's done. Okay, we might have us either another green grass pickerel or... Yeah, it's a grass pickerel. Ooh, level five, guys. Another 1500, another gold. Rocky Lake is now unlocked. And we've got no barb hooks, bigger sinkers, an even better reel, heavier line, and my favorite casting spoons of all. The red and white, the red devil is what they call it. But it looks like we've opened up and we now finally have a way to carry more tackle with us because right now we don't. We have the Omni Float now, the Value Spin, Slop Spoons, Narrow Spoons, and Spinners. Flies, ooh, and Nano Spinners. That's going to make some difference. Especially here because the uh, crappie really go for those guys. And let's see, more Barbless Hooks. Barbless jig heads. Whew. Small ones too. That's a good barbless narrow spoon. Those are that uh, purple one is really good. So it looks like we've got a lot made available just on that one. That is really you know I can go through the whole thing, but it looks like that is going to be awesome. Looks like we've got a new mission set up, the Rocky Trial. And I think I might take a look here and see what other lure I might throw on there. Yeah, because this one here, this red and white, I've been wa wanting to test it out, honestly, because looks like it might grab something's attention pretty good. Let's try over here, because we keep getting the green or the grass pickerel, which is great. It's just, that's not really what we're after for the mission here. Ugh. God bless its snags. Yeah, we might go to float fishing just so that we increase our chances of getting these guys. So I'll tell you what, let's do that. I mean, I really do want to cast like that, but this, this is what we got to do. This is part of the mission. Yada yada yada. So let's go ahead, throw that out there, and see what will go for the wines. Looks like I need to change my strike was done early. Well, okay, let me see. It's 40. Let's take it down to 30. Now, if the bobber is a little bit hard to see, you can increase the size of the bobber in your settings. That way you can visualize it a little bit better. Okay, we got a fella interested. Now, semolina balls will also attract these guys' interest, too. He's kind of being persnickety, isn't he? There we go. Well, it's a new personal record for my bluegills, but that's <laughs> not what I was going after. Let's try. Let's. I tell you what. We'll sight. Wait a minute. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, I think if you hit the Z, you can switch off and rotate through your bait. Let's see here, guys. 
Let's go with dough balls. We'll zoom in with now if you hit Z again when you you have your line out there you actually zoom in on your bobber or whatever it is you're looking at. There we go. And looks like we got one of them. We got the white crappie. That's what I was hoping for. <clears throat> Nice looking fish. Yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. Okay, let's see. Just to make sure. Forget with the golden shiners, but you can, if you're not sure what these guys go after, it's like the black tail, dough balls. So that we're already good there. Golden shiners, dough balls. We're good there. Green sunfish, not dough balls. Marshmallows, wax worms, blood worms, semolina balls. Guess what? We don't have any of those. So that's going to be a little trickier to get. They will go for worms, though. That's just their preferred baits. So we're going to... You might want to try the crickets and the uh, grasshoppers. They may get them as well, guys. So we're gonna. what we're going to do here, we're going to get these shiners out of the way. So I'm going to size my hook down to about a six. And I'm going to fish over here because it seems like I get them a little bit more on this side. There we go. Thing is, we are going to get a lot of bluegill. Bluegill just... Bluegill are there. I mean, that's just the way of things. But it looks like we got one of them. Ah, we even got the green sunfish right off the bat. There you go, guys. I think they are one of the prettiest fish. I wish the sun was out a little better, but you can see all the colorations. Yeah, there you go. They are really a gorgeous fish. I mean, I know he's little, but I don't care. I like them. I think they're so pretty. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay, we may need to up our tension here a bit. <laughs> this guy is, he's going for it. He thinks he's something special. He's got a little bit of, this is not a shiner. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but he has got some oomph behind him. Kind of curious to see what this guy is. I would have thought he was a bass, but they don't usually go for the bread. I'm not saying they won't, but they usually don't. Holy crap, what is this guy? Having some mouse troubles here. Dang gun it. This is not the time or the place. I cannot get the thing to reel anymore. Yep, my Hold on guys. Somehow I was able to get it back, but my mouse is about dead I've got one of those battery to mount okay I can 
take the tension up a little bit more. Let's see here. Boy, I'm maxing out on this. Did not expect to get something this big this early. But we get to see a good fight. That's pretty cool. He's coming. It's just going to take a little time. There, I got it back. I just keep switching the batteries, hoping there's enough juice in there. <laughs> That's terrible. And I can't stop right now because I'm in the middle of doing this. There we go, finally. Jeez. No wonder. <laughs> oh my god. No wonder. Holy crap, I was not expecting to catch him. That was probably at the maximum that this gear could actually pull in, guys. No joke, that's probably at the maximum that this gear can pull in. Smallmouth Buffalo. 188. Now that's good cash to start off with, guys. These are the guys to catch. But I really didn't think I had the gear to catch him. I knew he was something good size. Holy crap, that was fun. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was going to get him with that. Between that and my mouse having issues. And by the way, my mouse has stopped. This is right now. I'm using my touchpad. But I managed to get him pulled in before my mouse quit. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for a second here, guys, and uh, so find some uh, batteries. <laughs> that was fun. That was a lot of fun. All right, we'll go ahead and keep him. Not, not expected at all, guys. That was pretty daggone fun. That was cool. But yeah, my mouse is dead, officially. I cannot get it to come back on. I can use my touchpad, but that's it. Alright guys, I'll be back in a little bit. Alright guys, I cannot find any batteries, but I think I can improvise. I have figured out a way to make this work without a mouse. You can use your touchpad, it's just not easy. But the right button on the right causes, it to, causes you to uh, pull back, and the left one allows you to reel it in. Now you don't have a whole lot of maneuverability but hey it's better than nothing. We're gonna try it. Hey ingenuities you know. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and you gotta make things work. And there we go. I made it work. There's a bluegill. Alright. We'll keep him. That's not what we're after, but fortunately I don't think I can get another one of those other guys in here with just being able to do this. But if I tap the touch pad like that, it casts. So I've never done this with the touch pad before, so this is this is gonna be kinda cool. This is different. And it's working believe it or not he 
So maybe at least we can get this completed. Well, he was after it there for a minute, but then he quit. Yeah, if I don't get any uh, more takers as far as the shiners go, we're going to go down to a smaller hook. Maybe we'll go to the other side of the lake. Because although I like bluegill, it's not what we're after. Now he just quit altogether, didn't he? Alright. Okay, I'll we'll go ahead and start walking. I'm not sure. Okay. Just got to use the touchpad. I don't know. Actually, it might be easier just to go through the map here. I know I can get him over here. Now, if we can keep from getting the... Whew, it's not easy to do this without a mouse. I'm not used to... All right, let's see here. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but I guess I did it anyway. And we're getting a bite, so I guess I'm not complaining here. We got one of them. There we go. There's our golden shiner, guys. <laughs> and I did it without a mouse. I did it without a mouse. That's incredible. All right. Tap and toss. See, this could be good because my wife hates to use a mouse. She could play this now because if I show her how to do it, she can use her touchpad. She's a touchpad fanatic. I hate the darn things. But I figured it out. That's pretty cool. And another bluegill, guys. Lucky Bobber, successful strikes in a row. Another gold. Tap, toss, and then Z to zoom in, and we can move it around and look at it. Yeah, for some reason, the shiners seem to be out in the deeper water for the most part. Alright guys, I am back. I do apologize, but some of my footage got lost. And with the mouse issues and a bunch of other things, basically we were able to complete the missions of the Lone Star Exploration. We got some uh, gold, we got some cash, even got us a nice shiny bobber. But now we're going to try to move on to Lone Star Exploration 2 because we've almost gotten everything here in the first place we've got all the gear here to catch them and we might as well just go ahead and finish off both of these Lone Star explorations so we've already got a spotted bass now the spotted bass are right over here guys and right over here you'll get them I've got this silver and red casting spoon at one third ounce and they really seem to go for it as I'll show you real quick there's a lot of spots for them. Stop and go seems to be very, very popular. But yeah, it is already 6 p.m. in this game because we had to advance time. It became cloudy instead of partly cloudy. So the peak has changed. There we go doesn't usually take you very long to catch these guys and these are the guys along with the smallmouth buffalo you saw earlier that you want to grind in the game to get ahead we're gonna put this up as high as we can go there and there 
here's our spotted bass. Another personal record, 175 cash. It's not bad. Now the grass pickerel. Looks like I've reached level 6. That means we've opened up a bunch of new things here. Now I'm going to cast over here to my favorite spot for getting the grass pickerel as we got them earlier. I don't know why the first one didn't count or the second one but that's all right we'll catch a couple more might have a little more luck using the go one we'll try this one more time there we go we got something here This may be spotted bass, but I'm kind of thinking it might be a spotted bass. Yeah, that's a very large grass pickerel. Yep, another first personal record, 215 on that one. I thought he was good size. get snagged there. Let's change this back to the little casting spoon because I'm afraid we might be getting the the bass because of that. They seem to really go for that lure. I know the grass pickerel will go for these so there we go guys. As soon as I did the lift and drop Lift and drop is very hard to get in this game sometimes. Well, this may still be a... We'll see what it is, but it might actually be another spotted bass. The way it's fighting. Damn, this is a fighting fish. Come on. There we go. We got him. Yep. Another spotted bass at 175. Not bad cash wise, but it's not what we're after. <laughs> yeah, to get the lift and drop, you have to let it go all the way to the bottom and then just do an up and down motion like that. Sometimes it goes to twitching too. There we go, we got it. This might be what we're after. Let's see here. No, that got it. <laughs> the one time we want these guys, I can't catch them. Some dark horn work. There we go. Finally, we got something here. Why, crappie? Well, we've gotten just about everything but what we're after. <laughs> Yeah, this may take two episodes, guys. I don't know. We're going to have to see here. Let's see if they're over here. Sometimes they move on us. Yeah, I don't think this is a grass pickerel. I 
another spotted bass and it's another new personal record ah shoot well guys it looks like I'm gonna have to quit for the day looks like just realize that I have a net completely full of fish well anyway guys we're gonna have to end it here any in we will come back and try to complete the mission in the next episode so until then guys always remember aim straight cast far and have fun and I will see you in the next one so bye bye